In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up your guidance system on the Gen 4 displays. Currently, we're on our default tractor run page, and we need to navigate to our guidance run page. We can do so by going to the top right of the screen and selecting either the left or the right arrow. Once you navigate to your guidance run page, the first step we need to do is click set track. We currently have no tracks yet created, so we need to go to the bottom left and click plus new track. Now you just need to select your guidance method. I'm going to do an A plus heading. Now I can edit this track name by clicking the pencil. I am going to call this N space S for north south and click OK. Now that I have named my guidance line, I'm going to come down and make sure we're in the correct field. I am not in the south 40, so I'm going to click the pencil. If I were in the north 40, I would select the north 40. But for this instance, I'm going to show you how to add a new one in case your field name is not in there. We need to click the plus by new field. I will call this test. I can now verify that I'm in the correct client farm, so I will click save. Now I have created a new field name. Now that test is highlighted, I will click OK. I can verify that it does say test now, so I am in the correct field and I will click OK one more time. Now all we need to do is select set A. I want a north and south line, so I'm going to leave my heading at zero degrees. I am happy with that guidance line, so I will select Done. And now I have created a guidance line. All I need to do now is select my auto resume switch. And I can verify that the auto track is now enabled by looking at the bottom of the screen and seeing that the auto track pie has turned green. This is all that you have to do to set up your guidance properly on the Gen 4 display.